Big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring this video. Uh, they got in touch with their favorite flesh bag marauder. So off the new Ikoria, Lair of the Behemoths expansion. Uh, man, cannot wait to get my hands on this. So you can check out the Ikoria, Lair of the Behemoths uh, right now on the MTG Arena. Um, click on the link below. Um, it's all free, free to play. You can just jump in, get a couple of free packs and give it a bash. Check it out. <laughs> Boom. So let's do this. Uh, man, drafting. One of the coolest things that you can do in Magic. And uh, yeah, really, really fun way to learn the new set. Um, and we're just gonna jump in this and see how this goes. Okay, oh my God, right. How are we beginning this? Uh, shark Typhoon, oh my God, flying sharks. Flying sharks, how is that ever gonna be bad? But we could take Godzilla. How is that ever gonna be bad? Oh man, Godzilla or flying sharks? This is the toughest decision I've ever had to make in my life. We're going flying sharks. God, but I love Godzilla. Uh, yeah, flying shark. Archipelago. Uh, so there seems to be a lot of blue going on. Oh man, like a mixed land? That could straight up be good, but... God, like, just when is, like, a giant creature ever gonna be bad in this game? Currently, everything... Giga expensive. We need some some cheaper stuff. Oh my god, that feels amazing. Checkpoint officer. Love it. So we're going white blue. Um I guess like that sounds pretty good. Man, zero five, just goofy turtle. What a good boy. Oh my god, that guy feels great. We're doing blue and white. Uh, a little bit cheaper, it's got flying, um, all round, all good. I kind of like the look of this phase dolphin. Man, like, look at this. Whenever phase dolphin attacks, another target attacking creature can't be blocked this turn. Very cool. Oh, he looks like a good boy. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, he looks amazing. He's got a little bag uh, that he's stolen, but it's full of coins. Drawing cards. Do we just try and push through with more cards is more good? Or play a bit more defensively. More cards is more good. A shark man. Okay. Oh my god, is that a shark centaur? Okay, right, well, we're definitely having him. We're going quite shark heavy. So, we're on the deck building stage. We have removed all of the cards that we definitely don't want. And let's get rid of some things. Garrison Cat. It feels nice as like a little chump blocker at the beginning. Uh, I like this Wall of the Hunter just because we can cycle it. Wow, we could actually just go pure, pure blue. What would that look like? God, it would make the... Shark Typhoon, very strong. 14 creatures, a couple of instants, a couple of sorceries. What are we missing out on? Heals and some tricks. If we get, if we went mono, right, we've got to weigh this up. We've got to be like smart. Um, and by no means am I the smart, the smart one. Uh, boom, okay, no mana problems. Also, if we can get Shark Typhoon out, Every single spell that we're casting becomes an incredible flying shark. Uh, that is like our win condition for sure. Although I guess like, God, all you need to do is cast like two or three of these things and suddenly having uh, a couple of sharks out. Very good. We are on the more expensive side. So actually getting a couple of like heals, a few more tokens for blocking, actually probably not that bad. Some instants for some surprises. You know what? We're doing it. We're just going all sharks. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Oh, okay. <laughs> GG. God, we got stomped. All right, bam. In we go. So, time to see. Is all blue all bad? That's the real question. Who knows? Um, I Maybe I should have just put a couple of guys in. Uh, we've got a cheap blocker. We've got... A flashy crab, we've got a pouncing shark. Tons of mana. I'm I'm kind of into this. It's a turtle. It's me, the Aegis Turtle. Uh, so we do have this mutate ability, um, which basically allows us to combine this card with another card. Um, if we so wanted to. And uh, we do not need to attack with our little boy. Farewell. Whoa! Uh, okay. Um, you can... you can have that. You can have your cycle. <laughs> okay, right. We're kind of pretty slow right now. Um, not too much has happened. I guess both of us... Are they going... are they doing mono blue? No, they're doing that blue-white deck that we were thinking about. 
I guess this will be the test. Okay, right. We've gone all defense. No attack. Um, that's what people say. The best defense is a load of defense. And I guess we'll worry about the fighting later. Hopefully when the, when the sharks turn up. Huzzah! First blood. To me. That makes me the victor. God, I am absolutely terrified about what they're going to be uh, laying down soon. They've got... They've got mana. They've got a big old handful of cards. Uh, and they've got a crab. It turns out <laughs> the crab wars have begun. Uh, so... Wow, maybe we just throw down this boy. We may as well, like, chip... Chip a little bit of damage in. Great. Two damage. We're 10% of the way there. Uh, but hopefully, you know, Pouncing Shore Shark, he is going to turn this around. We'll call this next chapter the Shore Shark Redemption. Get out of here, Crablante. Uh, it is time for... Wow. It's like the, the Sea Alliance. Oh, he captured me. Well, that's not a ton of fun. Um, I guess block <laughs> with my dumb turtle. Do you have a funny trick? No, you don't. I think we just keep building up our giant reservoir. You guys can both go in. So I'm hoping once they actually start laying down some big creatures, we'll be in the position where we'll be able to be flipping them back to their hand. I could really do with that. Uh, the ability to be drawing every time I deal damage. That would be great. What are you doing, Ajani Goldmane? Oh, okay, so he's mutated. He's turned his crab into the Parcel Beast. With the top card of your library, if it's a land, you may put that onto the battlefield. Oh god, that is going to be strong. So I guess he was waiting for a lot of green. I feel like that is a better, better move to stop him getting mana, because he's got some mana problems, and... Yeah, if that means that he can't, like, generate more. I'm kind of down with that. You see, like, the three colours, definitely way more options. My one colour, less options. But, reliability. Oh my god, what's he casting? He's got, like, he can generate basically anything. Unless he splashed red in as well. Do you put red in your deck too? Oh! Honey mammoth! Oh! It's like an elephant that loves honey. Very cool. We could just, like, scooch old Honey Mammoth back to his hand. Yeah. Goodbye, Honey Mammoth. <gasps> and then we could dupe it. Oh, that'd be kind of jokes. Okay, love it. Love that card. Um, big fan of you. Uh, he doesn't have any mana left, so let's just go all in. You can sit back just in case. Sure. Uh, Phase Dolphin, look out for Glimmer Bell. Oh, the enchantment. It blocks it all. It blocks it all. You're still enchanted, even if you're mutated. Oh, Johnny. Oh, very smart. That is very cool. Um, as a way to get your... Your boy back. Your boy back in town. Okay. Because he's got reach. We're just going to go on Hexproof. Um, I'm a big fan of Hexproof. Um, if it means they can't mess with me. I guess we just send in as many of our boys as we can. Uh, yeah, that feels good. Okay. We've dealt a whole load of damage. Received none. Um, kind of stayed on top of them. Oh my god, they did have red in there. Wow. Uh-oh, is this where the fire cards come out? Oh my god, they went for everything. Okay. Uh, that now kind of worries me, because usually, you know... Only, like, someone super smart is going to go for everything. Do we just dupe him? Right now. Uh, and then... Hide him. And... Then... Just send everyone in. Uh, we'll make sure that... Don't block him. Okay, so unless he's got some good tricks, uh, we are just going to kill him next turn. Actually, no. That's not true at all. We're not that, <laughs> we're not that like, strong. Um, but, Honey Mammoth. Good boy. Uh, okay, Cycle to save his Honey Mammoth. Very cool. That's a really cool little combo you've got going on. 
Yeah, let's get to combat. Just swing him in. Uh, it'll kill something regardless. And... I think we do send both of those. Uh, yeah. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, his elephant is going to start eating my crabs. Which is not what I need. I thought it was into honey. Unless these are honey crabs. And God, that's like a big crab. It has trees growing off of it. Oh. Plus one, plus three till the end of the turn. Put a reach counter and untap it. Wow. A seven, nine. Spooky boy. I think we're gonna sacrifice our brave turtle. Uh, goodbye, brave turtle. You're a good boy <laughs> this whole time. Uh, I feel kind of bad. He's in this from the beginning. Um, and we just we just sacrificed him. Uh, is this a kill? Yes. Oh, uh, you're dead, buddy. You're dead. Bam! Okay, right, so I guess, like, that was a mild demonstration of when, you know, a pure deck goes well and a multi-tiered thing doesn't go as well. So, uh, we're up against Johnny Goldmane. Old Tragic Magic. And, ouch. Thank you, Tragic Magic. Just what I wanted. Oh my god, we're on track for Shark Typhoon. Yeah, bring out Crabulon again. Why not? Next turn, we'll get out the island and... Um, hopefully Shark Typhoon. I really don't want to lean into a counter spell, though. Um, as, you know, they're going blue, they're going black, they might have a bit of control. Oh, it's the dolphin! Hello, dolphin. I like that guy. He's very cool. Okay, right. Boom. You know what time it is? It's time for the Shark Typhoon! Surprise! We've got sharks coming! No attacks! Man, I like the swell of the music! As the sharks. Sharks are coming. Let's get rid of that. Dolphin. And that'll give us a shark. Uh, pow! The first shark comes out of the tornado. Oh my god, they just conceded! Wow! They saw the power of the flying shark, and they just instantly left. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, cool. We are in and good to go. How is this going to work out? <gasps> oh. Oh, look at that mountain. Gorgeous. <gasps> shark Typhoon is on the way. We are gonna have sharks today. Um, is <laughs> the dream. Turn my turtle into a shark. And I guess we could have done this at the end. I could have been a, a lot trickier with this. But I wasn't. Uh, yeah, go over. Uh, turtle has evolved into a shirk. Uh, and bam! Go, go, Sharkzilla. Love it. Man, very sharky. Um, God, am I just channeling Ben right now? Oh, there it is. What time is it? That's right. It's time for Shark Typhoon. Um, go, go, go. Oh my God, he's got so many of these cats. <gasps> Bone Nipper. Death Touch or Life Link? Oh man. What do you go for? Death Touch. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's bring down a big bird and uh, we will go flying this time. I will not attack. Oh! Okay, he's mutating it into the Evercool Phoenix. Okay, very cool. Right, I think that we can gust the wind that out of here. Uh, that would probably be cool. And then maybe we begin attacking. Sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, because there's still a death touch from the creature below. I completely forgot about that. That was Bad Plays by Old Tom. Um, but... Uh, you can go home. Oh, the fool! But we've got a flying shark. Um, very good. And another fly boy. Wow. We could mutate something into him. Tap that guy. Get some big attacks in. Like, mutate your boy, the Aegis turtle. Yeah. Okay, right. Let's use the mutate ability. Um, I'll trade my turtle up. 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna turn the turtle. God, the turtle evolving into this thing. That is a terrifying moment. Um, yeah, put him on top. Hello. And, um, yeah, tap you. And then we will go in with everything. Very cool. Flying shark, you did a good job. Um, we are going to get attacked now, which feels less good. But, oh my god, the archipelagore. Look at this big, strong boy. Excel target creature with power four or greater. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. Um, goodbye. Thanks. <laughs> I think that we are going to go in with an all attack right now. The shark dies, he can sacrifice that and get it back. Maybe we don't attack and we just hold. Because at the end of his turn he'll sacrifice that, he then can then replay the phoenix. Uh, one of the creatures will make it through, putting on four life. Hmm. Oh, but then we can counter it. Oh, we can counter it. Yeah, I say all attack. Uh, a good attack is the best attack. Um, this guy, boom. Very fighty. Block. Sacrifice. His turn. Play it. Counter. I get a 3-3 shark, and then we get the kill. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. He killed... God, he killed the crab. What did the crab ever do to anyone? Look, we'll untap it, so it looks like we've got a plan. But secretly, we don't have a plan. Um, <laughs> man, it feels weird playing blue. Like, normally, I always kind of, like, lean towards black decks. I always like the creatures. Um, they are always... Uh, the wacky boys. Oh, Cloud Piercer. Yeah, you know what? Counter. Just counter that. Gives us a shark. Now... He probably can't attack. Oh, sneaky. Oh, I hate that. Do we block with our boy? Oh, no. If he starts healing now, this is the end of the world. Yeah, I guess we just take that. He gets some heals. God, I could really do something that isn't a land. Oh, no. This is painful. Uh, I don't think we want to attack. Okay, that guy comes in. Do we take the damage again, or do we block? Oh. He's a little bitey boy. Hmm. That's sneaky. I like that. I appreciate that attack. I guess we trade there. God, we need a chump next turn. If we don't, don't get one. We are bad. Bad news bears. Counter target creature spell. God, that's no help for us at all. Unless he plays a thing that gets us a new creature. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to... Gonna have to hold. Like, this all revolves around if they play a creature. If they... Overkill it and try and do that, we might be strong. Oh, hello! There we go. That certainly helped. I think we have both of them into him. Like, the flying is a real problem for us. Oh, the dolphin! Okay, right, we've got a scrub to block for us. Man, we need a spell. We really need a spell. God, that guy's lifelink. He's up to 19 life. This has turned around massively. God, the swings of magic. Oh, a gorilla! Hey! How you doing? Uh, that guy's gonna kill me next turn. Uh oh. Uh, okay, I can block you. Um, okay, <laughs> right. I don't think that we get out of this. <gasps> oh my god, we do get out of this. My god. Yes, sir. Oh, but it didn't come out. Come with a lifelink counter. No attacks. We are on the back foot. Like all it takes is just like one trick. And we are busted. He can't do an all-out attack this turn. Oh, no. That's bad. 
I wanted that guy. Oh, we die. Well, we'll just punish him. And kill the gorilla. Uh, oh, it's fish blockers. Okay, right. Don't kill the gorilla. Kill that guy. Goodbye. Oh, it was close, but we just all fell apart. Man, that lifelink really, really did us in. Well met. Uh, bam! So that was the draft. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, make sure you go and check it out. Also, uh, right now, my god, there are alt art cards, uh, which are loads of kaiju. Man, I was really hoping to get Mothra. God, I love Mothra. And just so many super, super cool boys. Your boy, Space Godzilla. Very cool. Biolante, one of my favorites, one of the best Godzilla films. Um, really, really good. Godzilla himself. Man, very good. Uh, so you can get these. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this was one of the parts I was most excited for. Um, but in turn, I honestly didn't realize there were flying sharks in the game. They were amazing. Uh, bam, until next time, everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye.